Welcome back to the IBSP. Here's your host, Foxy Nuke. Welcome back, Fight Fans. Welcome the fuck back. Let's get into it. Jeff Horn and Terrence Crawford in a rematch in Australia. Would anything be different? Let's get into it. This is a direct quote from Jeff Horn. There's no better remedy, though, than to come back with a big win to get back on the world stage. I have to beat Mundine well. I would love to fight Crawford again in my backyard, and it might be a different story next time. I basically also stated Vegas was an amazing experience, but I did a lot wrong. I know I can fight a lot better than I did against Crawford. He was able to outbox me on the back foot, but I've learned from that not to rush. That is very, very interesting and telling. Jeff Horn is is a very interesting fighter. He's a, He dives into his fights first. He basically rushes in and likes to give a guy a, basically a brutalizing experience, um, overwhelming them with physicality. So when he fought... Manny Pacquiao, he pretty much overwhelmed Manny Pacquiao and picked up the win. A lot of people, at least half of the people that I've seen, boxing pundits and experts, said they believe Manny Pacquiao edged out that victory. Although the fight was rescored, it still was rescored with three new judges in favor of Jeff Horn. Jeff Horn's record is 18-1-1 with 12 knockouts. His last fight obviously was Terrence Crawford in which he was stopped in the ninth round. I don't see how anything changes with him going to Las Ve- uh, to Australia instead of Las Vegas. Now, if he's implying that maybe the judges will be more favorable, I don't see the point in that because he was stopped in the ninth round. I don't see an outcome changing of that fight with Jeff Horn. I believe if he fought Terrence Crawford again, Terrence Crawford would likely stop him way earlier in the fight within the third or fourth round just because he knows Jeff Horn so well, just because he's already timed him and he has experience with him. Terrence Crawford is a pound-for-pound fighter. In my personal pound-for-pound list, I believe he's at the top, at least number one. I, I just can't see a way to put Vasil Lomachenko over him. I don't feel like he's done enough. Terrence Crawford is 33-0 with 24 knockouts. His next fight is against a Jose Benavidez Jr., who's very tall, rangy, and a top prospect in boxing. So Terrence Crawford has obviously moved on to bigger and better things. At this point, Jeff Horn, he has to earn his way back to the top. But if he, if he were to fight Terrence Crawford again in a rematch... I believe it'll be the same result, except for it'll come a lot quicker. Once again, it's the IBFP. Please share, like, and you must absolutely subscribe.